The Symptoms of a Bad Car Negative Battery Cable Welcome, everyone. In today's video, we're going to look at symptoms of a bad car negative battery cable. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, remember to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready, and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. The battery cable setup consists of two heavy gauge wires. The positive battery cable is a wire wrapped in a red casing that connects the battery to your car's computer. The negative battery cable is a wire wrapped in a black casing that connects the battery to your vehicle's chassis for grounding. Together, they create a closed loop to allow power to flow continuously. If you have a bad battery cable, look out for these symptoms. 1. Car won't start. If you turn the key and your car won't start, it could be because of a bad battery cable. The starter motor needs a large amount of current to turn the engine over, and if the battery cables are not supplying enough current, the starter motor will not be able to do its job. Also, if you hear a clicking noise when you turn the key, it could be because of a bad battery cable. The clicking noise is caused by the solenoid in the starter motor not being able to engage the starter gear. 2. Hot Negative Battery Cable if you notice that the negative battery cable is hot to the touch, it could be because of a bad connection. The electrical current flowing through the bad negative battery cable can cause it to heat up, and if the connection is not good, the heat will build up and make the cable hot. A short circuit can also cause a hot negative battery cable. If the insulation on the cable is damaged, it can cause the wires to touch and create a short circuit. This will cause the current to flow through the cable instead of through the electrical system. The heat from a short circuit can also damage the battery. So if you notice a hot negative battery cable, it is important to have it checked out by a mechanic as soon as possible. 3. Corroded Battery Terminals or Cables Another symptom of a bad battery cable is corrosion on the battery terminals or cables. The electrical current flowing through the battery cables can cause corrosion on the terminals and cables. Corrosion can also be caused by exposure to water or moisture. If you live in an area with high humidity, checking your battery terminals and cables regularly for corrosion is important. If you notice any corrosion on your battery terminals or cables, it is important to clean them off as soon as possible. Corrosion can cause the electrical current to flow erratically, leading to problems with starting the car or running the electrical system. Cleaning off corrosion is not difficult, but it is important to do it carefully. 4. Flickering Headlights Another symptom of a bad battery cable is flickering headlights. If the electrical current flowing to the headlights is not smooth, it can cause the bulbs to flicker. A bad connection between the battery and the headlight wiring can cause this. The headlights receive a large amount of electrical current when turned on, and if the connection is not good, the current can fluctuate and cause the headlights to flicker. The headlights may also dim when the car is idling or running at low speeds. This is because the alternator is not providing enough power to the electrical system. 5. Visual damage to cables. If you can see damage to the battery cables, such as cracks or fraying, it indicates that they need to be replaced. The insulation on the cables can degrade over time, and if it is damaged, it can allow the electrical current to leak out. This can cause problems with starting the car or running the electrical system. 6. Low Voltage Car Battery. If you notice that your car has a low voltage battery, it could be because of a bad connection between the battery and the cables. You might get a battery discharge warning in this case. The electrical current flowing through the battery cables can cause a voltage drop, making the battery appear to have a lower voltage than it actually does. A low-voltage car battery can also be caused by corrosion on the terminals or cables. If the corrosion is bad enough, it can cause a complete loss of electrical contact between the battery and the cables. 7. Electrical Components Losing Power A very prominent symptom of bad battery cables is electrical components losing power. For example, if your car stereo starts to cut out or your power windows start to act erratically, it could be because of a bad connection between the battery and the cables. This happens because the electrical current flowing through the cables is not smooth. This can cause the voltage to drop, making the electrical components lose power. Although issues with other components, such as a failing alternator, can also cause this symptom, it is important to check the battery cables if you notice any problems with electrical components losing power. In conclusion, bad battery cables can cause all sorts of problems for your car, so it's important to replace them as soon as possible. That's all for today's video. Feel free to share any helpful information we've missed in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.